we have HBK's. Oh my, HBK's lazy eye. Okay, four ninety nine. Thanks for the four ninety nine. Rob, what were your initial thoughts on the Invasion Alliance storyline after WCW and ECW were bought out? We've talked about this before, but Rob, yeah, give us your thoughts on on that 2001. Man, what a time that was, too, for pro wrestling. That was the coolest storyline ever in wrestling, I believe. Yeah. To have WCW and ECW against... WWF, which it was at the beginning of the invasion still, you know, that was when it was changing was right then at that moment. And um, that was unheard of, you know, not long before that WWF never even acknowledged there was any other organizations or any other history or place for wrestlers to get experience if they weren't in WWF, then it just didn't happen. And, And they were just coming out of that for the Monday Night Wars, and so times were changing really quick. It was exciting. They were acknowledging each other, parodying each other, uh, you know, poking at each other. It was awesome. And then it it ended the way it did with uh, WCW going under and then Vince acquiring what was left of the other wrestling companies, something that he had been doing the whole time that he owned WWE since he took over. Uh, from his dad, acquiring all the other territories. I've been reading the Sheik's book uh, recently. I started a long time ago, but I picked it up again recently, and I learned so much about what was going on in the industry right when I joined in 1989. Like, I didn't realize this stuff was going on, like, like, like right then and right before then, leading up to then. It, it's easy to seem like, feel like history happened like so long before us but that's usually seldomly the case and we're connected to it so easily and and one way to prove it you can just think go back a couple generations like think about our grandfather and then think about his dad there's a chance he came over from another country you know if not then probably his parents did and it's just um it's not that our country's you know still uh not that old you know it's going on what 300 years uh um so when you look at it that way we're part of tomorrow's history boom it happens so quick and my point vince came in and right away started like including sheik's territory but you know boom bought up everybody um crossed what were considered boundaries before um, and ate up what was the NWA. You know, WWE used to be, WWWF was the one part part of the NWA. And basically, I think when they bought WCW, that was like like the last, uh, the last of it. I guess there's still an NWA right now yeah. entitled it. But that's what he always did. And that was like the winning the winning play, boom, you know. And so to be part of that and then to have the wrestlers in the Alliance and the Invasion on WWE television representing the outside forces, it was super, super cool. You know, it was like uh, it was like a bunch, like, it was like what the NWO was as far as outsiders on the program, except for much bigger because of what we represented there's all kinds of mistakes and flaws we can point out and i don't think we had the best necessarily representatives from wcw to have a head-on war with wwe but uh, overall it was awesome it was a really cool idea and um i think even having shano go and, and, and run it against his dad um, I think we had some unforgettable historic moments in the wrestling industry before eventually Vince got to raise his hand in victory. <laughs> yeah, right. Revisionist history, so to speak. Um, uh, I uh, yeah, I was such a fan of that time. It was uh, so cool because I was just getting introduced to ECW and w- watching you guys on TNN and kind of getting that underground, wow, I should not be watching this. I feel I shouldn't be watching it. And then here all of a sudden – you guys show up on WWE, 
I'm like, oh man, RVD's there. You got fucking Tommy Dreamer there. I was like, this is going to be fucking uh, badass. And just being amped up for that and seeing how you were utilized and stuff like that. You got, I think, like with the hardcore championship, we've talked about that plenty of times before, like you building that up and just getting right into the thick of the action of that. Thing. It was just a very cool time period for wrestling, even though yeah. we lost the company technically, but two companies. 